what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel there are over 70 keys in dmz and i'm creating a series of videos highlighting the locations that these keys open three disclaimers first of all all keys in the game can be found anywhere in the game you can find them while looting you can find them off of corpses and more importantly you can also get them from faction quests but all keys can be found anywhere secondly there is no way for me to predict exactly what you will be getting in the bags in the boxes inside these rooms so just because i was able to get tier 3 loot and you know really good guns does not mean the same for you because this is all determined by rng and thirdly these locations some are better than others and that is the reason why i'm creating this series because some of these locations will be worth it to pursue due to the fact that there's a huge amount of box in them that you can loot and some of the locations will not be worth it because it'll literally just be a cupboard that you open and there's like two armor plates inside but i'll let you decide the weapons repair kit where you can use the key is actually located within the underground tunnel complex that is the satik caves now the easiest way to get to this chest the fastest is actually to come from the left side of the map within this little complex of houses here there's a tunnel entrance right here where my cursor is now right off the bat i can tell you this place fucking sucks there are a ton of elites in here and you have respawns coming from the other exits that feed out into other areas of the city caves all of these are guys running in with shotguns and lmgs so you are going to have a hard time there's a ton of cover that they hide at inside this complex so it is terribly difficult to get in here now in the footage here, you can see me actually driving around with a vehicle and killing most of them before i commit to going in and actually opening up the container but the bottom line i also want to touch on is that this is one of those cases where i don't think the juice is worth the squeeze absolutely you could potentially get additional keys inside this chest as well as some money as well as some things that you can sell but it absolutely is not worth the peril that you face by going in here and having to fight all of these enemies that essentially come at you from multiple sides even with a vehicle and with the changes to vehicle health made in the latest reloaded season one patch you are going to have a tough time absolutely if you're a team you probably have a better chance of going in here but solo this place is kind of like off limits unless you want your life terminated immediately also the other thing to watch out for is this is often quite near extraction zones so keep that in mind and definitely avoid if that is the case at least that is my advice to you either which way if you go for it i hope it's lucrative and I hope there's some good loot in there thanks for watching have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me